Hey everyone, so we're back uh, back at uh, my place now. We're going to be timber framing this workshop over the next week. Hopefully start uh, anyway. Uh, we're going to need some, uh, some like, saw horses and things to make our life easier. So we're spending the day just making these. I'm going to make four of these. Just uh, out of some scraps I've got lying around. So, yeah, we've got one down. That's kind of the design we're going to go for. They're nice and strong and they're quite light as well. You can pick them up and move them quite easy. So we're going to make another three of them today and then tomorrow we're going to start off on this uh, on this timber frame. So there's uh, two down, so they're slightly different, but just using bits that I've got lying around. So another two to go, and they're going to come in very handy. So we got four saw horses made today. We're going to cut some firewood for us today, so tomorrow we'll be ready to start doing this timber framing on here, which it's going to be a learning experience. Yeah. Well, it's taken us most of the day, but we've done one joint, one tenon. Uh, marking it out and everything takes very long time. So, now I know what I'm doing. Well, I should make a video of how to do the next one, show you how it's done. But it was successful, it just took a long time. So I'm going to try and show you how to mark out a tenon on a bendy piece of wood, like this one so that the tenon sticks out straight and lines up with the mortise regardless of how bendy the piece of wood is like we did over here this piece of wood's all bendy and this tenon is perfectly straight to the bottom of the wood and all the middle bit is essentially irrelevant, all the bendy bits so what we've done is we've stood the piece of wood up and figured out which way we want the piece of wood to sit and we've made a mark here this is going to be our baseline mark. This mark's going to, we're going to now create an imaginary straight line through this piece of wood all the way up to the other end to make our tenon straight and perpendicular, is that the right word? To the bottom. Yeah, so we're going to create an imaginary uh, hole through the middle of the wood that's perfectly straight so that we know our tenon's going to be in the right place. Okay, now we have a string line going from uh, mark at the bottom over there all the way down here and to the end so now we're going to mark the bottom of it here and the top of it here and we're going to work our way around we're going to rotate it then and we're going to find our center point just show you that i'm going to that so that's hanging there so i've just marked where my string line is here so now i'm going to join the two marks up this will become the center line of our tenon. So that, that line there will be traveling right through the middle of our tenon. Our tenon will be here somewhere like that. Now I've rotated the log, I can now figure out uh, where I want my tenon to be. If I wanted my tenon to be offset, I'd choose an offset center. If I wanted it to be over this side, I'd choose a line over here. Want to be over this side, choose a line over here. But because of how the log is, I'm just going to put the tenon in the middle. So now I need to get this log level so I can hang a string line down from my new point, which is here, and where it crosses the center. That center point, if you were to imagine an imaginary hole all the way through the middle of the log, that center hole would line up with the hole at the bottom of the log. We've created an imaginary square through the center. So I'm going to get a level on this line, get this leveled up so that the string line hangs down perfectly straight and then we can, um, we can mark a new line and find our centre point. That's now uh, that point there, where that crosses, just there. If 
we were to drill a hole all the way through this piece of wood, that centre point would be exactly the same on the other end. It would come out. That hole would then come out. And then here, this end. So that's where our hole would come out. And you see on this end it's off centre, and on that end it's centre, and that's because the log is curved. Look at the log. Just joining up my line that goes all the way through the middle of my wood and creating the length of my tenon. The tenon's going to be 170 mil long, so this is going to be this is going to be the, res the shoulder of the tenon just here. And this line will correspond and go all the way down, and correspond with the line on the other end of the log. So we just got to turn it around and mark another one of those, and then we're going to transfer these lines around to each other, and that will give us our shoulder that so will be relative to the bottom. Okay, now I've got all of my lines marked out, as you can see, that's going to be the shoulder of the tenon. I've got them done all the way around the piece of wood, and we've got our centre line through the middle, which is that line there. And our tenon is going to be there, and it's going to correspond to that curve in the wood. So now what we need to do is we need to join these lines up perfectly um, in relation to this one. So we've got a little, uh, a little tool we're going to use for that, it's a square with a bit of string that hangs down. Okay, so we're going to do that now. Okay. So mark that string. Yeah. yeah. One shoulder. That doesn't matter. It's kind of gone round a bit there. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's going to matter for our... So that line Adam's just drawing there now, that's going to be the shoulder of our tenon. So now we need to actually mark our tenon, where it's going to be, measure yeah, over from these lines and lay out our tenon. We're going to put our tenon there. So we're now going to mark the width of our tenon, so the thickness of the tenon, off of these lines. So our tenon is going to be 50 mil. So I'm going to mark 25 mil on each side. So 10, 25. So we're going to do the same on the other side, and then we're going to chip out all of this. It's going to be gone, and all of this is going to be gone, and we're left with this 50 mil piece in the middle.
Now we need to re-establish our line because we've cut our line off, so we need to go from there to there, remark our line across here. Then we need to measure the width of our tenon off of this point. Cut, turn it over, do this on the other side, and we take the sides off. So this area in here, here, this is going to be the ten tenon. This is all going to be taken away. Like that. So all I did was I figured out uh, where my tenon would be and how big it's going to be. It's going to be 120 mil wide because the wood allows it to be that big. So we're going to make it that big. So I just marked it. And I'm just going to check that they're both the same, same size. And they are. So now I'm going to turn it round, flatten off the other side, do the same thing. And then we're going to knock these off. And then we'll end up with a tenon like on the other one that we did down there. Right, so we've got both sides done now. So now we have two flat sides. And now we need to take this off and this off, and then we'll have a tenon. So Adam's going to do that. Going to cut down to the line with the chainsaw, chip out the pieces. So there's our cuts, now we're going to split these lumps off, chisel it down. Okay, that side's done now. You see, so now we've just got to do this side. It's going to be a bit of a pain because there's a knot there, but it'll be fine. So, you see, we've got our shoulder established. So, Adam's just going to do his cuts again, cut this piece off, chip it off. So, okay, this tenon is now complete. Right, next task is to get some mortises cut into this beam. This is going to be the, the front wall post. So there's our two beams down there. They're going to sit. So we're going to have a mortise in here somewhere. That'll be the centre line of a mortise. And we'll have another mortise down here somewhere. That'll be about the centre line there. So we're going to put a string line between the ends and find our centres. And then we'll show you what the next step is. So it's going to be kind of a curved front beam. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's, uh, it is curved. It's not the lens, it's a curved piece of wood. And it's going to have quite a big overhang on the sides. And I think it's going to look pretty cool. So we're going to run a string line and we'll show you that process. Okay, we've found our centres and gone from the centre of this end to the centre of that end. And there's a string line going all the way across. Now we're going to mark out our mortises in relation to this string and they'll be going straight down so we're going to mark, lay them out on this side make a flat spot lay them out and then I'm going to put a little jig in here that's going to hang another plumb line down through the through the holes and then we'll mark the bottom and then we'll chisel it all out okay so I've marked out the sensor line and here this distance between here and here is the size of the shoulder on the tenon that shoulder there so we're going to flatten this off with the chainsaw and then put a mortise through here and then that shoulder will butt up against this flat spot we're about to make. So we just marked out the centre point of the tenon and the shoulders so I'm now going to flatten off this area and then I'll show you what's next. I'm just going to make a flat spot for the shoulder of the tenon to sit on in there and then we're going to mark out the tenon in that flat spot and then transfer those marks over to the other side.
Okay, we now have a flat spot in this piece of wood. This is level in both orientations. The tenon is going to go down through here. Orientated it so that this crack is going to get pulled together because it's split pretty bad. So our tenon, uh, sorry, our mortise will be in here. Our tenon will slide through and then we'll pin it. Okay, now that my tenon is marked out, I'm going to auger two holes through here. Like that, and then I'm going to take this uh, this little tool here that I've made, which is essentially a piece of wood with a line in it, two string lines with some screws attached. I'm going to drop those lines through that hole, line that up with those lines on top, and then that will transfer my lines underneath. So I'm going to do that now. This now goes through these two holes, this little doohickey jig here, get through there, and then that lines up with that line there and there. Now as long as that's lined up there, when we transfer to the bottom we can then redraw this on the bottom side, same as we've done on the top, and then we can come in from both sides and get the uh, get the mortise parallel so it's not like that or like that so it's straight <laughs> so I'm just uh, chiseling out these I'm gonna you know make a distinguished line so if my lines get rubbed out I still know where my points are Transferred everything underneath, drawn the same thing underneath. So now we just got to hog out all this wood. It's hard to draw on the wood because of the, it's wet, but essentially the the mortise is is drawn on the underside as well. If you can see it, I'm not sure you can. Okay, just test fitting, getting pretty close. You can see I've got a few gaps, but a few tight spots, but it is in in there. It is going to slide in, so I just need to take a bit more off, and then we'll try and ratchet it into there. Right, so it's going to fit. It's in, it's through. We're just using these straps here to, uh, to pull it in. So I made it way too long. I did that on purpose, just because the piece of wood's too long anyway. So I made it too long. Just kind of cut it off. Snugged up, cool. Nice.